first of all, welcome. Uh, so this is the, the, the first of our uh, second week's uh, sessions around uh, WinCC Unified. Uh, so had things gone to plan, we would have been out in the regions doing these uh, updates with some WinCC masterclasses face-to-face, uh, -face, but times as they are, uh, we've had to improvise uh, somewhat. So instead, we're, we're broadcasting today from uh, a slightly cloudy Cheshire from my back bedroom. Uh, so what we've got for you today is uh, we've got quite a lot of stuff to go through. So 45, 50 minutes probably isn't a uh, huge amount of time to give uh, this topic uh, justice. Uh, so what we'd like to do is just give you an overview of some of the key features we have with uh, our new visualization system with CC Unified. And then if there's any follow on, we can, we can handle that later. So qu quickly then, uh, uh, an introduction from my side. Uh, my name is Daniel Smalley. I'm the business manager for our factory automation digitalization uh, portfolio. So this is a, a software portfolio within our factory automation business mainly focused on our WinCC SCADA products, uh, our energy management uh, products, and some of our digitalization software solutions around things like industrial edge and virtual commissioning. So uh, what I wanted to do was just give you a, a bit of an overview in terms of what we uh, have with the new WinCC unified visualization system, some of the motivation behind what we've done. Uh, I'll go into some of the key highlights, then we'll uh, specifically have a look at the, uh, the software itself. Uh, the, there's two parts to this story with WinCC Unified, the, the, the software, the engineering, the runtime software, and also the new Unified Comfort Panels, and I want to give you an introduction uh, to those. And then we'll just wrap up with a bit of information around the um, WinCC Unified uh, community that we've built up, and we can take some questions. So uh, without further ado, let's just have a look at... Uh, Dive straight in, diving straight into WinCC Unified. So as you will no doubt be aware, if you've been involved in our uh, WinCC products or uh, been uh, involved in delivering projects based on our SCADA solutions, we have uh, more than one SCADA solution. Uh, so we have a WinCC ver version seven, we have WinCC professional, we have WinCC open architecture. So why have we introduced a new uh, visualization system into our product portfolio range? Well, first of all, in terms of the, the existing uh, products, the, these have not been uh, replaced. The, these continue to be uh, developed and innovated along uh, their lines. Uh, the WinCC Unified is an additional uh, product range that we bought into Tier Portal. So WinCC Unified is uh, shipping, and it has been shipping since just before Christmas. Uh, so it's based on Tier Portal version 16 and was released uh, just uh, yeah, a few days before Christmas. So if you've uh, got your SUS contracts up to date, you, you've had your upgrades, you, you should already have a, a, a copy of the WinCC Unified with version 16. So what is it? WinCC Unified is a common visualization runtime system that covers both the panels and the PC-based uh, visualization from the tier portal. So, so why, have, why have we done this? Why have we released uh, a new visualization system? Well, uh, we, we get a lot of inquiries and we, we respond to uh, a lot of uh, customer uh, requests in terms of providing visualization systems uh, from our SMATIC portfolio. And more and more, we're, we're getting asked for, for types of technology and, and uh, architectures that aren't necessarily supported in the existing uh, product range. So we get asked about uh, apps, how we're going to actually deliver our solutions uh, to take more of an app-based approach, like you might find <clears throat> on your mobile phone. Uh, phone and Android or iOS type approach. We get asked about uh, edge computing, we get asked about cloud connectivity, and we're also getting asked about things like what are our solutions for augmented reality, machine learning, and these sort of things. Now, we, we have hugely, hugely powerful uh, solutions in terms of our software uh, portfolio for, for SCADA, uh, but in some instances, there's limits in terms of what we can do with the technology that, that we have. So, for instance, with WinCC version 7, we're heavily based on uh, Microsoft uh, operating systems, which ties us into the overall life cycles of Microsoft operating systems. And we're also dependent on underlying uh, databases like SQL and some more legacy technology like uh, ActiveX. So what we want to do is, is provide a, a completely new visualization system that gives us new options and allows us to build up different and new types of architectures. And this is what we've done with WinCC Unified. So already shipping, so what are, what are the key features of WinCC Unified? Uh, 
Well, first of all, it's completely device independent. So we have device independent visualization based on web technologies. So the, the, the clients themselves are based on HTML5, SVG, and the programming is done within JavaScript. So we've taken a real uh, web-based approach, which means that we can run our clients on any device that can run an HTML5 browser. So all the, uh, all the uh, development work is server-side uh, development, all the updates are done server-side. So any device that can run an HTML5 browser, be it a mobile phone, be it a tablet, be a more traditional PC-based uh, platform, or even something like a smart TV can run a WinCC unified client. So hugely scalable and not tied into any specific operating system uh, or device. Next, we wanted a visualization system that can be hugely scalable. We have a lot of customers, a lot of OEMs, a lot of system integrators and end users uh, that use their visualization system for multiple different purposes throughout their uh, facilities. And the, what they want and what they ask us for quite a lot is the ability to sometimes start quite small and grow a system. So they don't want to be tied into some large system or high initial investments. They just want a, a system that can scale with the, with the machine or a scale with the uh, facility. And this is what we have with WinTC Unified. So WinCC Unified can start very, very small, so on a traditional sort of panel-based uh, solution close to the machine, and we can seamlessly scale that up to more of a, a PC-based platform uh, with multiple PCs and, and up to uh, 600,000 tags on a single server. So a hugely, hugely scalable system that can start small and grow very, very large, and it's exactly the same runtime system that we use uh, across the portfolio. So I've already touched on this. Uh, there's there's two parts to this story: the, the software uh, parts of WinCC Unified and the the hardware elements. So we've introduced the new high-end operator panels based on uh, glass-fronted multi-touch, and also incorporating our uh, new industrial edge platform. So these panels are being shipped as of this week, so the back end of this week, Thursday, Friday, these are, are being shipped. The sales release has already been announced uh, some weeks back, and these are now being uh, shipped to uh, customers. So we have uh, six uh, new WinCC Unified uh, Comfort Panels. I'll go into a little bit more detail exactly what we have in terms of uh, functionality, but these have been completely redesigned from the bottom up to be supporting the WinCC Unified Software Portfolio. And finally, in terms of the high-level overview, we really wanted uh, a solution that can be totally open. So what we find from our visualization systems is we often uh, update and um, interface directly into uh, third-party systems. So the, the visualization system within a facility should be the the piece of software that can really fit into the gap and allow multiple systems to really uh, interface with each other. And we'll cover a little bit more detail exactly what interfaces we have, but we see very much WinCC Unified as being the interface point between the world of OT and IT. Okay, so a quick high-level overview there. We can see that we've got at the bottom the software portfolio itself, so WinCC Unified. Uh, completely engineered within Tier Portal, Tier Portal uh, version 16. It's a common engineering plat uh, platform for all visualization uh, systems. So we can do the panels and we can do the PC uh, based uh, visualization, be it the equivalent of the WinCC Advanced type functionality we had where we used to be able to run a panel project on a PC or a full-blown SCADA system that we can build up using the options that we have within the WinCC Unified uh, portfolio. So hugely, hugely scalable from very small systems up to larger systems. Okay, so uh, we, we have a similar philosophy to what we've had with our visualization uh, systems before, where you get uh, a series of core functionality included within the standard product. And then you have the ability to add to that core functionality with specific options. 
because as a software supplier, we don't serve a single industry. We're not just selling SCADA systems into automotive or water or pharma. We really make one system that can apply to all industries. Uh, so this is why we have the ability to customize through options. So you're only paying for the options that you require within your uh, system. So let's have a look at these in a little bit more detail. First of all, we've got it split into, I guess, three, uh, three elements here. We've got the core basic options and the SCADA and plant intelligence options. What does that mean? Well, the core options are all the options that are common to both the HMI uh, comfort panels, the unified comfort panels, and the PC-based uh, platform. So these uh, are core functionalities that exist across both platforms. The basic options also work across both platforms, but they are add-ons, so you have to pay for the basic options. The core options work across both platforms and come with the standard product. So this covers things like, obviously, the, the modern user interface. It wouldn't be a visualization system without that. Uh, alarming, so all the uh, powerful alarming system that you know well from uh, Siemens also included as a core option. Uh, the scripting interface, as I mentioned earlier, which is based on JavaScript. Openness, so the ability within an engineering and a runtime environment to explore our, exploit our tier portal openness option, and we'll delve into that in a little bit more detail. We also have a technological hierarchy, which is common to, to both uh, platforms, and this allows us to actually uh, integrate multiple WinCC unified systems or independent subsystems directly into the visualization system. Uh, we have the connectivity options because we want to obviously connect into various different types of systems. So these are core options across the portfolio. Uh, reporting, so reporting for WinCC Unified on a PC platform and on a panel platform. And the user administration, because we want to be able to obviously handle the security and user administration across both. So that's the core options. That's what you get with the standard product, uh, irrespective of which platform you go with. On the basic options, uh, then we have add-ons. <clears throat> so we have the ability to add new functionality to the WinCC Unified platform. These are things like clients, because maybe uh, we want to add multiple clients. Excuse me a second. <clears throat> Maybe we we'll want to add additional clients. So a core system, a PC system, will come with two clients, one for local visualization and one for remote. That comes as standard. Uh, but we have the ability to add additional clients, so up to 150 clients that we can add onto a single server. <clears throat> Then we can add things like logging, so we can do file-based logging uh, into uh, basically text file type uh, interface directly from a PC-based uh, platform or on a panel. We have a concept of collaboration, which I'll delve into a little bit more detail. And then we have some standard controls like you, you may have known it from the previous uh, visualization systems. Things like parameter control, so we can handle user context uh, data similar to sort of recipes or user archives. And we have options for diagnostics and audit. Uh, if you want to do, for instance, your 21 CFR Part 11. So, so those are the, the core and basic options. On the SCADA and plant intelligence options, these are only available on a PC-based platform. So we need a bit more power here. We need to, the power of a PC-based platform, so we can't do these on a panel. So these are things like logging based on a, a relational database, so the ability to add Microsoft SQL. You obviously can't add this to, to a panel. And these include some of the plant intelligence options that we'll uh, delve into a little bit as well, like the performance insight, calendar option, sequence execution, and layered coordination, and I'll explain these later, uh, and the ability to do central logging. So this is a dedicated central uh, historian and redundancy. So a couple of these options you may have noticed, say, uh, in excess of V16. So, so what this means is these options are not released with the initial V16 release. These will come a little later. So these are the redundancy, central logging, diagnostics, and audit will come a little bit later. Okay. So the modern user interface, this is a really, really key feature of WinCC Unified, and we'll, we'll take a look at it. Uh, so it's uh, very open and it's web-based now. So we support HTML5. So we've got a nice scalable um, uh, visualization system that will run on any HTML5 browser. We use the, the uh, scalable vector graphics so we can seamlessly uh, fit the graphics to fit the screen resolution that we're displaying on without any loss of quality. Uh, we support JavaScript as an open uh, scripting language. 
we say it's accessible from everywhere. So it doesn't really matter the device. We can really sort of mix and match. We can use mobile phones and large scale smart TVs and traditional operator stations and things like that. Absolutely fine. All the configuration is done on the server. There's no client side plugins to download and maintain. And we have the ability to customize because it's uh, web-based, uh, because we have JavaScript uh, interface, we can use custom web controls, uh, we, we can use custom and dynamic uh, SVGs, and we can really sort of animate the system to really customize it and make it look as you wish. So let's take a quick look at it. So this is a, a quick view of WinCC Unified. In this case, we're looking on, on an iPad. So this is an actual screen recording from an iPad. You can see it's in the, uh, the Safari browser at, at, at the top here. And what we're looking at is just a standard demonstration project to uh, give you an idea of what things like the, the SVGs look like, some of the standard controls that, that we've got in there. So we've got a nice gauge there. We can see the performance is really quite good. So this is over Wi-Fi and an iPad. It's very responsive. Uh, it's very smooth in terms of the performance uh, of, of the graphics. A nice swipe in, swipe out from, from the right there. And we've got the ability to, to really sort of customize it in terms of multi-touch gestures and things like that. So it is primarily a, a web-based interface and it looks very, very smart. Okay, so let's have a look at another key feature of WinCC Unified. This is around the support of tier portal openness. It's already mentioned, it's very, very sort of open as a, as a, a, a programming platform and interface for visualization. Uh, and that's, this is partly because we support the tier portal openness interface. So if you haven't come across this uh, before, this is an open API for tier portal that allows us to externally from tier portal using code to carry out functions that we would have ordinarily carried out within tier portal. So this is, can be used for instance, to create your own configuration tool. So this is what we're showing here. Uh, custom configuration tool may be created in .NET, whatever programming language you're, you're, you're comfortable with. Uh, and this could be to create an initial project, for instance. So you might want to, as a first step, import some of your customer data and use it within a configuration tool to start generating then a custom tier portal project. So we can open tier portal, create the project, uh, configure the hardware within tier portal, add the objects, and now we've got the ability to work with the visualization systems as well. So this is the HMI and the SCADA systems. And this is something that we didn't have the capability of with, for instance, WinCC V7 or WinCC Professional. So now what we can do is start mass editing uh, projects. Uh, OEMs are building custom configuration tools to start their sort of base projects and then do any sort of uh, manipulation of individual customer code within the tier portal itself. So if you've not looked at OpenS API, uh, you, need, you need to speak to Siemens and, and, and come and have a look at this. This is a hugely, hugely powerful uh, option we have for tier portal. And the best thing is it's completely free. It's completely free and completely open and published. So you can download the openness uh, manual today and start looking at how you can use that. Okay, so just to reiterate on the, um, on the visualization side, uh, we support uh, different types of clients based on HTML5 browser with zero installation. Uh, they're completely configured on, on the server side, so there's no configuration whatsoever on the, the client, which means we can support different operating systems, uh, non-Microsoft uh, operating systems as well. Uh, it's completely secure, so it's secured using certificates, using uh, HTTPS, uh, using SSL, uh, so we can securely get connectivity. And we show some of the browsers there that we support. <clears throat> so that's the Chrome, Safari, Firefox, for instance. But in terms of performance, there is a, a clear preference bit to, be, uh, towards Chrome because uh, this, uh, through our test, has shown the best performance. What we show here is it's fully supported on the PC-based platform, not currently on the unified comfort panel platform. So going ahead, we will be releasing a, uh, uh, an update for the unified comfort panels so we can support uh, a client or a couple of clients directly on the unified comfort panel. At the moment, it's only a, a single local client for the panel. On the PC-based platform, uh, we support up to 150 clients onto a single server need more clients, just add more service. 
Okay, so let's have a look at a couple of the plant intelligence options we've got. So some of the ones <clears throat> that, that we've uh, released, first of all. Uh, so these are the calendar and performance uh, insight options. These have been released in the last uh, two or three weeks. Uh, and these allow us to do things like uh, plan uh, shifts or working patterns based on a, a calendar option. So what we can see here with, under the uh, image you can see at the top, we've got the, the, the runtime view of the calendar control. So we can see the different uh, working patterns and shift patterns we've got defined. And we can also see the technological hierarchy that we've got planned on the left-hand side. So this is in runtime, and we can see by technological hierarchy what shift patterns that we've got planned. Why, why might we want to do this? Uh, because it allows us to use other tools to actually perform uh, analytics based on uh, shifts, for instance. So at the bottom here, we're showing the performance insights option. Uh, which is our sort of analytics sort of KPI OEE tool. Uh, and now we can start doing calculations based on the, the availability of a production line or, or a machine, also in conjunction with the actual shift patterns as well. So we can start applying a context to it, like uh, I want to compare the performance or OEE of shift one to, to shift two or day shift, night shift or whatever this week to, to, to last week. So we can start applying these, these concepts directly to uh, a, a time basis. What we can see on the bottom here then, we've got a standard control for the performance insight that's giving us information in terms of like a Gantt chart view. So we can see the stages of operation of a line. We can see things like the frequency uh, in which uh, states has occurred, uh, the period, so the duration it's uh, occurred for. And on the left hand side, we can see what the um, technological hierarchy looks like from the actual uh, programming interface within within tier portal and this would match what we see over in runtime so we have this plant objects view within the engineering environment of tier portal and we can actually start looking at the technological hierarchy there okay moving on slightly uh, looking at two options that are not currently released but will be released uh, soon so these are the sequence execution and line coordination systems so first of all sequence execution system uh, which allows us to carry out some batch functionality this is not a uh, an S88 uh, batching system that you might see within a process industry, but this is more aimed at the, the common types of uh, batching that you might see, for instance, maybe in food and beverage, maybe in a bakery or something like this, where, where we want to uh, carry out a, a sequence based on step transitions, and we want to visualize it in a, a step uh, transition sort of process flow. So this is showing here how we can actually use the sequence execution system to actually visualize and program. Now, the line coordination system <clears throat> allows us to take multiple underlying uh, systems, be it underlying uh, WinCC unified systems or PLCs or third-party systems and actually do the line coordination across those underlying subsystems. So here, for instance, you might get multiple different OEM machines, five or six in a line maybe, and we want to do now some line coordination. We want to actually control the end-to-end -end process based on this sort of step transition, so we might be integrating also the sequence execution. So we're showing how we might do it using the basic parameter control within WinCC. Uh, so this is... Um, the standard control I mentioned earlier for user context data. We might have an underlying sequence execution system using one of the WinCC unified options, and then maybe just a generic third-party system, so anything we can interface to, something of OPC, UA maybe, and we can then use the line coordination system over the top to uh, orchestrate that. Okay, so uh, another option that, that we mentioned uh, uh, when we showed the, the, the wheel with all the different uh, options available for WinCC Unified is the concept of collaboration. Now, this is quite an interesting one. This is uh, unique now to, to WinCC Unified. Uh, and this allows us to uh, get multiple different WinCC Unified systems collaborating with each other. 
Well, what does that mean? Well, if we have a look at the, the example that we've got here, we've got uh, four different WinCC unified system, two of them are PC based with their own individual clients, and two of these are panel based, so the WinCC unified comfort systems. And what we're doing is using the collaboration option, so this is a licensed option on each of these uh, stations, to allow us to share data between the different stations. So, for instance, sharing screens. So this means that maybe, again, if we go back to the scenario where you've got an end user with multiple different OEM uh, provided machines on a line, maybe they don't need to be actually engineered as a single solution. We can use something like the, the collaboration option for WinCC Unified to actually bring these together at runtime. So this allows, for instance, this PC-based system, maybe not one of the clients, to actually view screens that are actually only defined here on, on this, uh, this panel. So in the first step, uh, supporting uh, screens, uh, but we'll also, with future versions, be supporting uh, tags, alarms, uh, recipe parameters, so the ability to share data seamlessly without having to uh, explicitly engineer it beforehand. So, I mentioned WinCC Unified as an integration platform. We very much see uh, this as uh, being key to the, to the future of visualization systems going forward, as it always has been on the uh, SCADA side today. So, how might we integrate directly using WinCC Unified? Well, there's a couple of different ways. First of all, we support a standard data interface for WinCC Unified called uh, OpenPipe, uh, which is a server-sided uh, data interface allowing access to uh, online tags, so, so live process variables and alarms, and it's independent of uh, a specific programming language. So here we might have a small script that uses the Windows PowerShell to establish a connection, for instance, between WinCC Unified and, let's say, Excel uh, to seamlessly pass live data uh, between the two packages. Next, we have uh, runtime openness. Uh, so this is based on the tier portal openness again, but in the, in the runtime environment that gives us access to server-sided sided data uh, uh, and historical uh, tags and alarms using .NET or, or C++. So if you really want high performance and, and huge amounts of data, you can use the runtime openness interface. And finally there for the visualization system, we support the custom web controls. So we've got a custom web control that we can embed into the runtime of uh, WinCC Unified. Uh, this might allow you, for instance, to run something like a 3D CAD model of a machine uh, tied into live process tags, so you can start animating things in, in, in real time, or maybe to access things like uh, cameras and, and camera controls directly from within WinCC Unified uh, using a supplier-provided uh, custom web control. Okay, so... Uh, a very, very quick overview of some of the WinCC Unified engineering and runtime options that we've got there. So let's have a, a little bit of a deeper look at the uh, Somatic HMI Unified Comfort Panels and see what options we have available here. So first of all, uh, they are now um, six uh, devices within the overall product range. So these start from a 7-inch device all the way up to the 22-inch device. So slightly consolidated in terms of the product range compared to the unified comfort panels, uh, of the standard comfort panels that we've had previous to V16. These are available in two variants. These are the Siemens branded ones uh, with the Siemens logo and Somatic HMI brands. Uh, that you can see on the top, or they're available in a neutral option as well. So they just come with a, a blank uh, black frame. Uh, these are available from stock, both versions, so you don't have to place any special order or quantity order or anything like that. Both of them are available through your standard channels and distribution channels. All of them are glass-fronted uh, multi-touch, uh, so we support multi-touch as standard. This is not a, a, an option or an add-on now, so we can really exploit the power of the visualization system directly on these uh, panels. And they obviously run WinCC Unified, which, as you can see from the picture there, looks fantastic. Okay, so just to reiterate what, what we've already mentioned, this is a common HMI visualization platform across HMI and PC uh, platforms. Um, so we've not got a change when we uh, 
go from an HMI, uh, a unified comfort panel onto a PC based platform. We're not changing the project. Uh, we're just changing the device and the project will scale and run on it. So what does that mean? That means commonality, for instance, of the faceplates. So the faceplates uh, are exactly the same for the panel and the PC based system. We use a common screen structure. Uh, so for instance, using a technological hierarchy or your own defined uh, screen structure will, will be common to, to both. We don't have to change them at all. And we have common user interface controls for the panel and on the PC to make sure you have the same sort of usability uh, across across the different devices. The only thing you might want to consider is the actual screen size uh, itself. You obviously can't fit as many graphics on a 7-inch screen as you can on a 22-inch screen. Okay. So, WinCC Unified Panels are based on uh, Linux. They're based on industrial Linux available from Siemens, and it's been available from Siemens for some time now, over a year, I believe, uh, on the PC-based platform, and this is the basis that we use now on the Unified Comfort Panels. So, based on Debian 9, uh, and because we've got an open source operating system uh, on the panel, we can, of course, use standard operating system uh, applications. So what you'll find is the Unified Comfort Panels uh, come shipping uh, with standard applications such as the browser, which is Google Chrome. Um, so obviously, we need this for visualization of WinCC Unified itself. Uh, we include a media player. So this is based on open source video media player called VLC. So you can embed, embed standard media directly into your visualization system. We support an Office application, again, open source, uh, based on Linux, which is the LibreOffice uh, application. So you can embed Excel, for instance, or, or slides or whatever you want. And we include a standard a PDF viewer, the Ocular uh, open source PDF viewer. And because we've got an underlying operating system, we can, we can add applications if required. Okay, so if you want more functionality, <clears throat> we also have a brand new option. So this is a really, really key differentiator now with the WinCC Unified Comfort Panels. So the Unified Comfort Panels are now shipping with our industrial edge platform. What does that mean? Well, that means we have the ability to uh, centrally uh, manage uh, the Unified uh, Comfort Panels or device manage the Unified Comfort Panels. What does this uh, actually mean? Uh, on the device managed uh, application of a WinCC Unified Comfort Panel, it means we can go online to the panel using a standard browser from a PC. Uh, we can then log into the panel and we can choose applications that we want to deploy directly to it. The applications are containerized applications based on Docker. So we can run Docker uh, app applications directly on the Unified Comfort Panel itself. And I'll show you a little example of, uh, of how we can do that. Coming later with the release of the WinCC Unified Panel, following the release of our Industrial Edge Management System, we'll have the ability to centrally manage these from a, an Industrial Edge Management System uh, itself. So this might be, uh, for instance, where you run a facility with 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever uh, Unified Comfort Panels, and you want a, the ability to centrally manage them. That is, centrally manage the underlying operating system, so the Linux version, that is to manage the uh, the Docker version, uh, the the runtime system uh, on the panel, and the applications that, that you can deploy to it as well. So here, for instance, you might select your, let's say, 50 unified comfort panels. Uh, you've developed a new app based on Docker Compose. You can select your 50 panels and deploy the application directly uh, to it. And we'll see see what that looks like. So this is really, really key functionality that we brought into the Unified Comfort Panels. So it can now really be a true sort of interface from the world of operational technology up into the world of IT, uh, because we can be centrally managed device with open programming interfaces. Okay, so let's have a quick look at that. Uh, so what we're looking at now is Tier Portal, obviously, and we're looking at a Unified Comfort Panel. And what we're trying to discover now is the IP address. We want to know the IP address of our Unified Comfort Panel. Once we understand the IP address and we're on the same network, we can then go into uh, our browser, pop in our IP address, and then we're going to be presented with our Unified Comfort Panel login. 
We've obviously got to uh, enable the uh, password and make sure we're an administrator of this panel. So we're logged onto the panel directly. And what we're looking at now is the industrial edge platform. We can see four applications here that, that we've got available to us uh, that, that we can go and have a look at in a little bit more detail here. So the first one we're looking at is uh, it's actually Flow Creator based on an open source programming language called Node Red. You can install, uninstall, start and stop uh, the applications directly on, on the device uh, itself. We've got a few others there. Dive into have a look at some of the statistics of the device. So we can look at the <clears throat> memory memory utilization, the CPU performance, the storage capability that, that, that we have directly on the comfort panel. So what we want to do now, let's go and dive into the uh, Node Red option. So this is the flow creator. Like I said, this is open source tool, uh, and it gives us the ability to do programming using visual flow programming. So that is, we can define these input nodes. So we drop a couple of input nodes on. <clears throat> we've got a couple of, uh, we've got output nodes, and then we can do functions and pre-processing. So we might want to read in some tags from a third party source, perform some sort of uh, analytics on it and write it out. And because it's a comfort panel, we've got some specific nodes exactly uh, directly related to the functionality on the panel. So this is reading tags, reading alarms, writing tags in, into the panel project itself. So this allows you to very, very quickly connect a, a unified comfort panel uh, to anything that you've got on, on your network that's supported out of the Node Red application. So a huge, huge shift in terms of capability. So let's have a look at the uh, overall system architecture of the WinCC Unified Comfort Panel itself. So we've got a nice little image there of a Unified Comfort Panel. We've obviously got the underlying operate, uh, hardware, and then on top of that, the operating system, which we know now is uh, based on Debian 9, industrial Linux build. And on top of that, then, of course, we have the ability to run the HMI runtime, which is the WinCC Unified uh, Runtime System, to actually visualize. We have the control panel, which manages the functionality of the panel itself, uh, security settings, brightness, uh, enabling and disabling functionality, for instance. Then we have the native applications that we had a look at, things like VLC, Chrome, LibreOffice. And then we have the edge runtime system itself. So an edge runtime core based on Docker that we can deploy applications to directly and run independently. These applications could be Siemens applications that are standard connectors, things like the flow creator, node red functionality, or these can be custom created applications or third party applications from a marketplace. Okay. Another core uh, functionality and, or feature of the WinCC Unified Comfort Panels is, is security. Uh, <clears throat> so now that we're based on a standard industrial Linux build, it gives us an awful lot of control over the security settings on the, uh, the, the, the panel itself. So it means that we can, uh, for instance, uh, get a lot of control over what we can activate and deactivate. For instance, we can uh, activate and deactivate the onboard mass storage, be it USB or, or the SD card. We can enable and disable the, the, the ports. Uh, so there's a couple of ports on the panel. So uh, we can enable or disable the Ethernet or, or Profinet uh, ports and things like uh, SNMP for uh, uh, diagnostics of, of the device. By standard, the Edge platform uh, is deactivated. So when shipped, so it's a, a positive action, you've got to sort of opt in to enable it. So you have to have uh, administrator privileges and go into the panel. You can enable the Edge runtime system uh, itself. Then it's available to actually deploy applications to, like we just saw in the video before. The applications themselves can also be independently deactivated as well. So you might have some applications that maybe as an OEM, you, you ship three or four applications, but you only want one active for a specific customer. We can also do uh, security updates using the uh, directly using Tier Portal or using the Somatic Automation tool. So the Somatic Automation tool uh, going forward will be uh, available additionally as well as an independent uh, edge application. So we could potentially run that on the panel itself uh, to manage, for instance, firmware updates on uh, CP cards or, or CPUs in the field so a lot more central control of the somatic environment 
And of course, we can manage the device security itself, <clears throat> which means the user management, uh, uh, not only for the WinCC unified uh, runtime, uh, but also for the actual control panel functionality that, that you have. Uh, so you can actually uh, enable and disable who can do what in terms of the configuration of the, the, the panel, be it a single panel on an OEM machine or, or multiple panels provided as an overall solution. Okay, <clears throat> so some high level kind of overview uh, uh, there we've got uh, WinCC Unified as a central data backbone for the operational technology at a, at a local level, uh, but also being uh, open and flexible enough to integrate directly into not only other WinCC Unified and third-party systems, but also connecting into high-level IT systems. Okay, so I've just got a, a, a few few more uh, bits of additional information that could be of uh, interest to you. So first of all, uh, this is uh, a new offering as of uh, December. So we've obviously got some uh, some bundles, some starter and promotion packs available. Uh, these are based on hardware and software solutions. So first of all, we have a hardware uh, starter kit, which is based on obviously the WinCC Unified Comfort Panel itself. Uh, you get a standard profi net cable, uh, you get a memory card of 32 gig and the standard protective film. So everything you need to kind of get you started, you've not got to go through all the options and work out exactly what's required, it's a good starting point. We also include a software starter kit as well, uh, which includes uh, the industrial edge license, so the ability to enable industrial edge on the WinCC unified panel. Uh, it gives you client uh, for the uh, somatic notify edge application. So maybe you've come across this application already. If you've had a look at our somatic Mindsphere offering, uh, we have wins, uh, the somatic notify Mindsphere uh, application is already available. This allows us to centrally from a cloud platform aggregate our alarm and events uh, and then use push notification out to mobile devices for alerting of, of, of uh, yeah, an alarm or rent uh, based on iOS or Android. We also uh, have the ability to run the Edge uh, the Notifier application on our Edge platform as well. So the starter kit comes with uh, a version of the Notifier Edge app. And it includes the WinCC Unified Collaboration license as well. So available as a starter kit. We have some dedicated uh, promotional packages based on the software runtime. So this is on a PC-based platform. So we've got three bundles here. The first one is a thousand tag uh, runtime bundle. So this comes with the, obviously, a thousand uh, runtime tags. When we talk about runtime tags in WinCC Unified, these are connected to physical I.O physical inputs, physical outputs. What we're not counting is any derived tags or calculator tags or anything like that. It's only stuff that's connected directly to the uh, to the controller as physical I.O. So a thousand uh, tags, uh, runtime tags. We've got the parameter control that allows us to get this sort of context data, recipe data, uh, and control that. A hundred long-term uh, logging tags, so we can write this data into uh, an archive, and the, the report option that's available as a, as a single, single bundle. Moving up slightly in scalability, we've got the same, uh, the same options, but uh, more of them. Uh, so we've got 10,000 uh, runtime tags and then 1,000 logging tags as a single bundle. And going up to the, the final bundle where we've got on the right, we've got to 50,000 tags. Uh, still a thousand logging tags. Uh, we've added the database option, so this is the SQL database, and an additional client there. And if you buy those on the MLFBs there, the part numbers you can see there, there it's approximately 30% discount off the standard list. So, bit of a bit of a deal to get you started. Uh, we also have introduced promotional packages of plant intelligence options, again, 30% uh, discount, uh, including the, uh, the calendar option that was just released and the performance insight option as well. So these are available up until the end of this year. Moving on, uh, we've got a standard uh, bundle or a discounted bundle, uh, and this is something that we uh, have always had with the SCADA options. This is, allows us to package a WinCC runtime license with a somatic IPC, and it gives you then a, a cost benefit 
20, 30 percent, depending on, on the runtime package and, and, and IPC. So all you need to do here is select your WinTC runtime license, let's say 1,000 tags. Let's, uh, then you need to select your desired IPC, your somatic IPC that you want to run it on, let's say the nice small uh, 127E uh, IPC. Uh, and then you need to order both of them on the same order. If you order both of them on the same order, you get the benefit then of the discount. And there is a, a special part number for the for the IPC uh, runtime license for WinCC Unified as well. So as long as you order on the same uh, order, you, you get the benefit. If you try and split them, it won't, it won't get processed. Okay. So what else do we have? Um, we are releasing, it says, uh, at the end of April, so I'm reliably informed that on Thursday we'll be shipping our Somatic HMI template suite uh, for WinCC Unified. So what this is, is a standard wizard, standard configuration tool for uh, mass engineering your base WinCC Unified uh, panel or PC based projects. So obviously supports the resolution from 7 inch uh, up to 22 inch because this is what, what we have available then with the panels and uh, it uses the standard object library that we have within the uh, template suite. So this is a really, really nice way to quickly get started uh, engineering high quality graphics the world of WinCC Unified. So I've dropped in the link there, you can see it in, in, in orange. Uh, if you click on it now, it probably goes through to the, 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 the previous version, maybe V15, but as of sort of Thursday, Friday this week, uh, you'll see the new template suite available for Tier Portal V16 and WinCC Unified. Okay, like all good products, we uh, have a training offering as well. Uh, you'll, you'll see a lot more tomorrow on the tech talk we have from our side training colleagues, Jason Finn. Uh, but uh, we just wanted to give you a quick overview of what we have on the WinCC Unified side of things. So there's three training offerings we can see here. So the basic offering is the WinCC Unified and, and Comfort Panels uh, offering, which is a, a three-day classroom training. Next, we have the advanced WinCC Unified scripting. So we run uh, skip scripting training, so you can take advantage of the openness that we have within the WinCC Unified to create your own uh, your own customizations within the platform based on JavaScript. And that's a three-hour web-based training. And then we have an advanced WinCC Unified for PC-based systems. So these are the customers that are getting more into the specific SCADA functionality. Uh, I want to get really into the sort of uh, the, the guts of WinCC Unified to learn more. Uh, and this is a two-day classroom training. Okay, finally, uh, I just wanted to introduce you to the WinCC Unified community. So if you want to learn more, uh, we have a community that's... Uh, obviously built up with, with people from Siemens participating and from our customers as well. So a place where you can uh, share objects, share code snippets, work together, learn about you know, the best ways to do things from, from your peers. Uh, and uh, we're also contributing a huge amount from this uh, from a Siemens point of view as well. So there's a whole lot of video clips, how to's, things like that that you can quickly see. You know, how do I install my certificates? How do I you know, work with a custom web control something like that some nice little sort of web uh, based uh, videos and things like that you can quickly get your head around okay so uh, I'll I'll post that as well with the standard slides okay so uh, I think that's me done uh, I think we're, we're pretty much on time uh, I think we will take any questions you have around uh, WinCC Unified now Okay, just to confirm the recording's now stopped.